What's up guys, it's your boy DS and today we're going to be talking about the bow. Now, I initially played the bow and at first I thought that, eh, it's alright, it's not that crazy. But upon returning back to the bow and, you know, finding out some new things and playing around with it, the bow was actually kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get into how it works and everything. Starting out, the bow has two forms. Uh, there is the horizontal form which whenever you shoot it it shoots these little bolts and you know the bolts kind of like stay inside the kimono you can obviously hold it and it'll do a little combo but like i said the bolts will stay inside it and then you have the vertical form which is this and how you switch the vertical and horizontal forms is all you do is press your light button and it'll switch back and forth now keep in mind whenever you you know put your bow up anytime you take it out it'll automatically go to the horizontal form. So just keep that in mind. But moving on to the vertical form, uh, you fire a bow, which kind of just does whatever. But if you hold it, it will detonate the horizontal shots. And on top of that, you can actually charge it up to level two. And it'll do more. So that is pretty much how the vertical bow works. Now, how you shoot the bow is your special button. This is going to be how you shoot your shots with this bow. Now that we're done talking about the light button to switch the forms, and we're done talking about the special button to shoot the bow, I want to talk about your heavy button. This is going to be the button that makes the bow as insane that it is. Whenever you press your heavy button, you will enhance or upgrade your bow. As you can see, this is upgrade one. What this does is instead of me doing my little normal shots, if I hold my, you know, special button, I will do a bunch of shots. And then obviously you can switch over and uh, go to this one. And this will do an upgraded shot right there as well. So whether you have it on the horizontal or the, you know, vertical, you can have it upgraded. Now, looking at the second upgraded version, because you can upgrade twice, there's one there's two and then if you hold down your special button as you can see you do like a really big flurry of shots and then if we look at the upgraded version of the vertical you see how you like he like puts it down and does like a really big shot so like he puts the bowl down and you know you charge it up and you do like a really big shot so you can upgrade the horizontal or the vertical and you can do it twice now reinforcing these forms or upgrading them is going to be basically how you dish out tons of damage technically speaking let's say the kimono is just not moving it's standing there whatever the case may be and you want to get off a lot of damage you would initially switch over to this form right here and then you would go into your volley and i'm going to go ahead and get up close And you'll hold it until you lose all of your stamina because it does drain your stamina. And as you guys see, if you are up close, all the shots will hit going up instead of them coming down. And then you can charge it twice again and go into your vertical form and then charge up a super big attack. As you guys see right there, that is going to dish out a lot of damage. Now you see right here, I didn't even detonate all of these. So you can detonate those as well. That is, on paper, how you would dish out the most amount of damage. Now, obviously, that is not going to be the case, seeing as Kimono won't just stand there infinitely waiting on you to attack them. Now, moving on to something that's a lot more practical is actually going to be your box jump. Now, this right here is going to be so good because what it does is, let's say we double charge and we use our horizontal uh, bow. And then we'll go into the volley. Now, after going into the volley, what you want to do is you want to jump off the box, and this will allow you to detonate automatically. As you can see, it allows you to detonate that right there. Now, the thing about that is the higher the boxes, the bigger the detonate as well. So let's say we put three boxes, go into our volley. And then we get on top of the boxes and detonate this way 
it is going to be a much bigger detonate doing a lot more damage and as you guys can see with the level three box jump you actually auto charge your enhancement so after you do the jump you can go straight into the volley then you can go ahead and box jump rinse repeat so that is going to be a lot better way a lot more practical uh way for you to do damage now like i said you do want to have you a triple box you know nearby it doesn't have to be right next to it because you can you know jump off this and you do have a lot of time to detonate so that is going to be a really good way for you to do that now speaking of the boxes i do want to get into the katakuri attacks as you guys already saw that one is pretty nice if you look at the spring this one's going to give you a lot of arrows for you to basically thread the kimono and as you guys saw i missed so you want to make sure that you're pretty far away before you do it and like i said that is going to thread the kimono with the uh green arrow so now you can go into your other form and get off one of these now as you guys saw right there it did charge my bow and arrow whenever i did the uh spring jump so that's going to be a really nice addition and then if you guys look right here at the torch the torch go ahead and applies a fire to your bow so whenever you're shooting you do have like fire on it but it still does the same stuff pretty much just adds a little bit of fire to it nothing crazy now talking about the glider i'm gonna tell you right now the glider makes the bow insane if you guys saw the other methods i was talking about to do damage this is basically going to be your best method to do damage it is absolutely ridiculous so obviously you want to make sure you get your double charge on and then you want to go into your volley well after that you can go into the glider and then go into your charge shot here now this go ahead and charges your bow and it lets you go back into another volley and as you guys see i ran out of stamina go into your shot again and rinse repeat the glider allows you to do insane damage over and over non-stop and now the thing that's so cool about this is number one it doesn't require stamina because you're going to be charging your stamina every time you go into the air number two it doesn't require thread because you're going to be using the same kind of curry over and over so like i said you are going to do this go into that and then just rinse repeat it is a really big combo for you guys to uh basically do over and over to dish out the maximum amount of damage you could possibly do with this bow so like i said the bow is a really strong weapon as long as you get it down and learn how to use it you got to learn how to aim it and learn what tools and katakuri that you need to be using to make it as strong as possible but once you get all of that down the bow becomes an insane weapon and you're gonna pretty much be one-shotting kimono if they do not hit you and the thing about that is whenever you are using all of these moves you can actually dodge while using them so if i show you while using this you can dodge go into it dodge go into it now obviously dodging does you stamina but you can dodge while doing that so you can make sure that you're not getting attacked looking at the first one you can also dodge here too so whenever you're using that one you can also dodge now with the vertical charge you can't move around whenever you're charging it you have to just stay here and then let it go but generally speaking whenever you're using that one you don't really want to be uh doing it when the enemy whenever a kimono is about to hit you you want to make sure you want to wait for an opening and on top of that you can actually just you know do a glider jump or a box jump to get your detonate off so you most of the time won't be just standing here on the ground anyway now obviously like i said if you are using the bow you do want to have a lot of different stamina skills because it is going to use a lot of stamina and if you do get a lot more stamina or less stamina consumption etc you will be able to shoot your volley a lot longer but moving on one of the skills that are going to be really good is able archer increases the number of shots fired at the end of a higher volley this is basically going to allow you to shoot more shots in your volley and then allowing you to get more damage off when you detonate
Broken Beast Screaming Arrow is also another one because it boosts the power of resonant Atoya attacks when the bow is at maximum enhancement. And basically what this means is the Atoya is the vertical, which I'm just going to call it vertical. And then the Haya is the horizontal. I'm just going to call it horizontal. So basically, whenever your bow is at max enhancements, which is two, you will do extra power or damage whenever you shoot and detonate the arrows. Obviously, you can build your bow however you want to, but this seems to be the best type of build or way to go that I know. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.